Welcome to the Tea of the Day. Today, I basically just uh, decided to do, let's do a fun mix and talk about, uh, a little bit about herbal teas, about how you can mix them around. And basically, in the last couple of days, what I've been doing is just been miscellaneously throwing in lots of different little herbs together. And, um, I tell you, most of them have come out perfectly fine. It's like, if you're wanting to be refined, and you want to be like, I want to have this taste accented by this flavor. Yes, mm, this is a lovely blend. Then, um, yeah, of course, you can do that. You can go, yes, I'm going to take three sprigs of thyme and two sprigs of oregano and one of basil and throw it all together and it'll be lovely. Um, but, uh, that I mean, at the end of the day, with herbal teas, um, you can mix and match a lot of them in there, and it's like, oh, I've got a little bit of this, I'll toss it in there. It's, you know, I'll toss it, I've got a little bit of this. It's kind of like, you know, with good leftovers, where it's like, oh, I've got a little bit of that, I'll finish that off. I got a little bit of pizza, I'll finish a slice of that off. Oh, I got some tuna, I'll bit of that too. You know, <laughs> they're all good, and, uh, you know, you're not necessarily going to have tuna pizza, but, uh, <laughs> not the best example. But as far as the herbal teas are concerned, um, Unless you're dealing with the strong stuff, um, you can blend it pretty much miscellaneously and get away with it. So like, I've been blending my hyssop, my mints, so the apple mint, the spearmint, peppermint, chamomile, the, uh, what else do I have going on up there? Um, not the marjoram. Um, I've got the oregano, I've got the uh, thyme, I've got the cinnamon basil, the regular basil, the sage the lavender, and a couple others that I've just been miscellaneously playing around with. And uh, they've all blended really well together. The trick is, is like I said, with the strong ones. So the sage, the rosemary, the uh, oregano even can be a bit stronger, um, as is the thyme, if it's a woodier thyme and not a fresher thyme. So like it's been around, if you're grabbing more of a woody stemmed one, that is a bit stronger. Um, especially if you end up putting the stem in there. So it's like if you've got a fresh one that's a green stem and you just put it in there with the leaves, that can be okay. But if you get a woody stem and you put it in there, that's definitely going to affect the flavor. Okay? Just saying. If you just want to, you know, say, hey, experiment and throw a bunch in there, you can do that um, and you can actually let them steep quite a while. This I, th I kind of actually even forgot about and left for like 10 minutes or so. And I'm perfectly happy with it. It tastes great. It doesn't taste too strong, which is the imperative thing. When you leave certain herbs, they can get bitter. So the rosemary can get bitter. The sage can get bitter. The basil can get ugly, kind of bitter, nasty tasting. Kind of like I've said before with that spinachy taste where it's just that evil grassy water, blah, mm, taste that nobody likes. And if you do, lucky you. How do you like that? All the, pretty much every flower, except for like a hibiscus, which is a very strong fruity flower, um, you can get away with doing because they're all lighter. The the, the hyssop, the chamomile, um, the calendula, even valerian, even uh, stevia. I mean, you know, pretty much any of the herbs uh, that aren't heavier, woodier herbs, or have a strong taste that can get bitter. Okay, you can just mix and match and play around with. That's my point. Have fun with your tea. Enjoy. Have a good tea day.